simple face mask here in this image you can see this is transparent mask with the side holes for the exhalation and it should be fit over the face cover the mouth and the nose and size of the mask should be proper it will varies according to the age and weight of the patient now in the simple face mask we have to set the flow rate between 5 to 10 liter per minute generally simple face mask not used in the neonates but if we are using for the nebulization or for any other purpose 5 liter per minute rate should be set and for infant and children 6 to 10 liters per minute different oxygen flow rate result in the highly variable and unpredictable fio2 delivered to the patient with the simple face mask that's why it is low flow oxygen delivery device oxygen concentration varies between 35 to 55% so with the 5 liter per minute of the oxygen flow fio2 will be delivered between 0.35 to 0.4 so 40% oxygen concentration will be delivered to the baby and with 10 liter maximum 55% can be delivered with the simple face mask now what are the advantages it is useful for the acute situations and for short term easy to use easy to apply the simple face mask disadvantage it is not prefer in the newborn difficulty in giving the feeding and suctioning it low oxygen flow rate less than 4 liter per minute CO2 retention can occur. So again, this is the complication or disadvantage of the simple face mask. Another is the partial rebreathing mask. Here in this image, you can see this is the mask connected with the reservoir bag, and the capacity of this bag is of one liter. When the baby will uh, exhale, this uh, this is the oxygen tubing connected with the reservoir bag and another end of the tubing connected to the oxygen source so when baby will exhale oxygen flow directly into the reservoir bag it is also designed in such a way that exhale gas from the initial one third of the expiration from the anatomical dead space which is rich in the oxygen will fill the reservoir bag and during inspiration only one third of the reservoir big oxygen gets empty during the inspiration time flow rate for the partial rebreathing mask between 8 to 15 liter per minute and minimum 8 liter per minute so the oxygen enter the mask to remove the excel co2 and to refill the oxygen reservoir fio2 between 0.6 to 0.8 will be delivered to the child with partial rebreathing mask it is suitable for the spontaneously breathing patient and useful in situation where the oxygen supply are limited because first one third of the exhale gas also fill the reservoir bag advantage useful for the acute situation short term use exhaled air also conserve in the partial rebreathing mask it is the advantage of the prm disadvantage difficulty in giving the feeding and suctioning irritation in the eyes can occur because tight seal is required between the mask and the face it low oxygen flow rate less than 8 liter per minute co2 retention can occur lone rebreathing mask basic difference between prm and nrm is with mask and reservoir nrm also contain the three one way valves so here in this image you can see this is the mask this is the reservoir b and these are the three valves so one is the reservoir valve which is between the reservoir bag and the mask so this is the reservoir valve and this one way valve is closed during the exhalation when baby will exhale this valve will be closed so the room air and the exhaled air will not enter into the reservoir bag and this valve is open during the inspiration so oxygen will be enter into the mask and baby will inspire and this bag is 
connected with the oxygen this is the oxygen tubing so when this valve is closed this oxygen from the oxygen source will fill the reservoir bag so this bag is filled during the exhalation when valve is closed and oxygen source deliver the oxygen to the bag so this valve allow only oxygen from source to enter the reservoir thus prevent the rebreathing and during inspiration this valve will open and provide the high fio2 now these are the two exhalation ports this also contain the one way valve so these are the one way valve at the exhalation port so these valves remain closed during inspiration so room air will not enter into the mask so these valve will be closed and this reservoir valve will open so high fio2 high oxygen concentration will be delivered to the patient so in expiration exhalation ports open and reservoir valve close so exhaled air will go into the environment so this is the main difference between nrm and prm this also contain the three one way valves so here in this video also you can see these are the one way valve at the exhalation port and this one is the reservoir valve and this is the oxygen tubing connected to the reservoir bag and this is the reservoir bag of 1 liter capacity this is non rebreathing mask now flow rate in the nrm between 10 to 15 liter per minute at 6 liter per minute 55 to 60 percent oxygen concentration will be delivered. At 8 liter, 60 to 80 percent, and at 10 liter, 80 to 90 percent oxygen. So at least 10 liter per minute rate should be set. So the 90 percent oxygen concentration will be delivered. At 12 liter, 90 percent, and at 15 liter per minute, 90 to 100 percent oxygen concentration. it is uh, used when the patient is having a spontaneous breathing with the severe hypoxia example in the shock respiratory distress or cardiac failure what are the advantage it is useful for the acute situation and short term use highest possible fio2 without intubation can be delivered by the non rebreathing mask disadvantage uncomfortable because tight seal is required between the mask and the face difficulty in giving the feeding and suction and irritation in eyes can occur because of nrm so these are the image of simple mask simple face mask this is partial rebreathing mask in which the mask with reservoir bag and this is nrm non rebreathing mask so this is the mask and reservoir bag with the three one way valve 